Hello guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today, it's about our brand new manager in Graham Jones. Before I get into this video though, I just want to say that I'm currently in China. The reason why there's not as many videos as there should be is because I'm in a country which bans YouTube and yeah, I'm in another country around across the other side of the world. So, sorry about that. I'm, on, I'm in China for work, experience, flash, holiday. It's very, it's basically an educational trip. So that's why there ain't as many videos as there should be. But anyway, Graham Jones, fantastic appointment from the board. I actually can't believe we've got him. A manager with so much experience. How have we got him? Firstly, I just want to say with Graham Jones, he chose, he turned us down because he wanted to stay loyal to West Brom. I have no problems with that. Some people show loyalty, some people don't. We know people who don't show loyalty. I'm not going to mention his name. But we do have people like Graham Jones who understands loyalty. Firstly, Graham Jones, his playing career. He's played in the Football League and he's played non-league football. So he, he understands where we've come from. He would understand where, what we're trying to achieve as a football club. Another thing which I like about Graham Jones is that he would have taken the job even if we didn't get promoted this year. Gary Sweet like said that he accepted the contract, he accepted the deal when he was at West Brom, when even if we finished in League One, he would have still been with us, he would have been the manager of Luton Town Football Club. And for me, that's fantastic, because he could have easily gone, you know what, no, because you're not getting promoted to the Championship, why do I want to drop a level to manage a football club? Like, for me, that is an important thing to have because like like I said you could easily just stay where you are you could easily get a better job like anywhere else so fair play for him for doing that and I'm very surprised no other football club has gone in for him to be a full-time manager because he's so experienced now he's been under Roberto Martinez that's what he's more known for he's been his assistant manager for like 11 years at Swansea at Wigan and at Everton and at Belgium, you know, like at, he's been promoted out of the championship. He's had an he's an FA Cup winner. He's managed like he's coached in like the Premier League. He's ma like coached and managed like world class players at a World Cup, who finished third for Belgium. Like, come on, like what? How much more experience do you need? To become a manager, like he has literally everything. To be fair, when we were in League Two, we signed. Like, we hired Nathan Jones as the manager. Graham Jones has, like, ten times the amount of experience than what Nathan Jones has. And this is Graham Jones' first manager job. It It's honestly incredible. Graham Jones has signed a three-year deal. And to be fair to him, his first task is to keep Luton in the championship. If we stay up in the championship in our first season, he's done the job. And then we can see what he does from then. Apparently, he has his own way of playing his own football, which is good. And I noticed in the interview, with, well, I noticed the interview which Gary Sweet had. He mentioned that we're not going to be changing the system too much. I believe we are going to change the system. I don't believe what Gary Sweet said because the diamond does not work in the championship. It, it really does not work. I've watched a lot of championship football this year. Pretty much every team plays wingers. You know, and when Graham Jones was at West Brom, like last season, West Brom played wingers, they played wing backs, so they didn't really play the diamond formation. Like at times they played like three at the back with three centre halves. That that was because Darren Moore was obviously the manager there. And then they changed it up to a four four two, changed it to a four three three. Now they play at the back, they they play from the back, which I'm assuming Graham Jones wants to play, which I'm fine with because we know we've been playing that way for a lot of like a long time now. However, I just don't think the diamond formation will work in the championship. And I believe he will be signing wingers as wingers are old school, they're old fashioned, like people like to say that, but I do reckon wingers will be coming in place for next season. I don't I can't see the formation sticking. I really do think it needs to be changed to get the best out of us. That's, yeah, I'm not just saying that for the sake of it, I'm saying that because, like, it, when you play the diamond formation and you're playing against other teams who have wingers, your fullbacks get doubled up on, 
and if the centre mid who in the diamond formation doesn't track back or is out of position too much then that will cause you plenty of problems and when you play the diamond formation you like to attack your fullbacks are your attacking like width and we like to play our fullbacks really high and if we're going to do that in the championship we would get countered attacked by so many teams so many times during the game with pace it's quicker the championship football is so fast so quick and with Pearson and Bradley at the back we're going to get outrun quite a lot by pace so we need to be bringing in a few quick players who have got a bit of speed even though Stacey and Justin have speed I still think that needs to be coming in place for next season another good thing about Graham Jones is that since he's he got removed from his duties at West Brom He's had the opportunity now to look at the squad, look at the players who he wants to keep and also look at players who he wants for next season. For me, this is fantastic as this gives us a head start compared to the other teams in the championship and he ain't got the biggest budget to work for. We all know that. Basically, we don't want to do what happened last time and that was overspend, overstretch when we were last time in the championship. We don't want that to happen again and Gary Sweet has mentioned that he does not, that won't be happening, which is good. So, Graham Jones has got a budget which he's he's obviously happy with because he wouldn't be at the club if he didn't wasn't happy with that budget. Graham Jones and Mick Harford have got a really important job to do and that is to find certain players with a certain character to play for this football club but also under that certain budget. And also, he's got to try and persuade certain players to stay at the football club. The interview which I watched with Gary Sweet, he also mentioned that players at our football club turn down clubs even when they got offered more money, which is fantastic to hear because you want players who are committed to this football club, you want to stay at this football club. So if players are turning down money, that means we're going in the right direction and for the future of this football club, it's definitely looking good. So my expectations for next year is just to stay up. I don't care what happens. Even if we finish above relegation, I do not care as long as we stay up. That's the main thing. And I wouldn't even say there's a points target because in the championship, it changes every year. Normally, you say 50 is like the, like the correct points target, but sometimes that cannot be the case. So there you have it, guys. That is the end of the video. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the, the, like, the manager, Graham Jones, him being the new Luton Town manager, three-year deal. Let me know what you guys think about him. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Drop a like on the video if you did enjoy it. Follow me across all my social media if you haven't done already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.